Hi everyone, Mrs E here with another mental maths quiz. So it's just like our Fluent in Fives at school, little questions to help you get quicker with your maths. Here we go. There'll be some outs, there'll be some takeaways, there'll even be some divides and some multiplication. Number one, something add seven is 27. Starting off nice and easy. Is the answer 30, 20, 10 or 2? It's not 30, not 10. That's right, it's 20 because 20 add 7 is 27. Number 2, 8 times 4. 8 times 4. Remember, you can pause the video if you want to work it out. Is the answer 17, 12, 16 or 32? It's not 17 and it's not 12. That would be the two numbers added together. It's not 16, it's 32. 4, 8, 12, 16. It's that pattern. Number three, 27 times 10. When we times things by 10, we make things 10 times bigger. So is the answer 90, 270, 98 or 66? Not 90 or 98. wonder if you get there quicker than me. Yay, it's 270. All we have to do when we make ten things 10 times bigger is add a zero. And everything moves along one place. Question four. Four sixths add one sixth. Is the answer five sixths? Is it five twelfths? Is it three sixths? Or three twelfths? Think about addition and subtraction with fractions. Which ones would do we add and which ones do we leave alone? Not three six, not three twelfths, it's five six. We add or take away the numerator, but the denominator stays the same. Question five, seven times eight. Don't forget you can pause the video anytime you like. Is the answer? 30, 24, 64 or 56. It's not 24, it's not 64 and it's not 30, it's 56. We should be learning that pattern now. It's one of the hardest ones to remember. Great job if you got it. Number six, 160 divided by 10. So this is asking how many tens are in 160? Is the answer 10, 7, 16 or 100? How many tens in 160? It's not 10 and it's not 7. Well done if you said 16 because 16 times 10 is 160. Great job. Question 7. 421 take away 21 is the answer 40, 10, 400 or 21. It's not 40, it's not 10, it's 400 because we're taking away all of the tens and all of the ones. So we're left with those zeros appearing again, 400. Question number eight, 90 times 20. 90 times 20. So is the answer 1,800? Wow, that's a big number. 180? 1,100? Or 110. It's a tricky one, this one. Getting a bit harder now. Remember, when times tables start to grow, use a fact you already know. What do you already know that can help you? 
Pause the video and have a think. It's not 180. It's not 1,100 and it's not 110. It's 1,800. And why is that? Well, we use 9 times 2, which we know is 18. We then need to make it 10 times bigger because we're doing 90, which is 180. And then we need to make it another 10 times bigger because we're timesing it by 20. So that means there's two zeros on the end of our 18. 1,800. Fantastic if you got that right. Number nine, seven tenths take away three tenths. Is the answer eight tenths, four tenths, five tenths, or one tenth? Bet you get there quicker than me. Not eight tenths, not five tenths, and not one tenth. It's four tenths. We take seven tenths and take away three tenths. Seven take away three is four. We do nothing to the denominator. Here's our last question. Three times four times two. Wow, this is hard. Two multiplications. Have a little go. Is the answer nine, 16, 12, or 24. It's not 9, and it's not 16, and it's not 12. 12 is part of the answer though. 3 times 4 is 12, but then we have to times that 12 by 2. Two different multiplications, and 12 times 2 is 24. Absolutely amazing if you got that right. So how many did you did you get out of 10? See you next time for another quick fire mental math quiz. Bye.